What's going on guys, it's your boy James here at Beards and Coffee back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now that being said guys, I'm going to make this video for somebody I've been back and forth with in the comments for years now. A buddy of mine that's never really had a beard, but starting to grow a beard. I think that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if I'm kind of part of that or what, the reason he's growing a beard, but I think it's pretty cool. But he suggested this and I might turn this into a series. I may not. So if you see these little videos pop up, that's what this will be about. This is basically beard tips for beginners okay what I want to do is just go through a few things that's going to help you along your journey as you're starting to grow a beard all right the first thing I'm going to recommend this is a Kent comb all right so as long as you don't lose that comb that comb will pretty much always be by your side once you get a longer beard these can get a little tricky you know unless your beard's real straight but I still use one of these today my beard is long so get a good comb the other one's going to be a boar's hair brush especially if you're just starting out, you know, if you're just starting to grow a beard, boar's hair brush. When they're double-sided like this, usually one side's soft, the other side's a little bit harder, but this will help style your beard into the direction you want it, and it'll also help flyaways that are just kind of sticking out, it'll help tame those, okay? So these two are very important when you're first starting out, in my opinion. The next thing that I want to talk about is beard oil, guys. I'm just going to show you one. This is Husky Beards. You know, there's a lot of beard oils out there. I've got a lot of videos on it. A lot of other people have videos on it. If you guys want to click on the uh, links down below, I get a small kickback on it. You don't have to click on my links. Just whatever you want to do, there's some links down below for some of these things that I'm mentioning right here, okay? So beard oil itself is going to help control just that dry skin that you get, and that dry skin causes a lot of itching, okay? So you want to have a good beard oil. A lot of guys shave their beards off because of the itch. You know, they start getting a lot of itch. Me personally, I didn't really get much itch until I got a longer beard, which is really weird, but most people get it in the first stages of growing a beard, and that's what helps you control that itch, okay? Put some in your hands. Uh, everybody's got a different amount they want to put in. If your beard's small, you're just going to put a little bit in your hand. If your beard's longer, you might put a whole dropper. Put that in your hands, rub it together. Rub your fingertips on the skin under your beard or just wherever you're rubbing it, rub it into your skin and then whatever's left over, rub it on your beard, rub it on your hands, whatever you want to do with it. That will help the itch. It also smells good, so that's a plus. And um, yeah, it's a must have, one of the biggest must haves. The next thing I'm going to recommend for somebody just starting off with a short beard is going to be a good beard balm. This is just great before shave. This is a just, there's a lot of good beard bombs. I'm just, I just grab one for the sake of this video. Okay, so there's a lot of these. And as your beard's growing, especially when it's shorter, and it does it when it's longer also, but when it's shorter, you'll get a lot of, you'll get a lot of flyaway hairs. And those hairs will literally make you either want to trim them off or to make you want to shave your beard off because they just start getting kind of crazy, you know, depending on how long you're growing your beard. Like I said, you have to set a goal. Don't make this difficult, but you have to set a goal, okay? So that beard balm is designed, it has a little bit of wax in it. It's designed to actually hold your beard straight and tight. So if I was putting some of my beard right now, wouldn't matter sitting right here where I'm at, what I did, it would pretty much hold it perfectly straight. Um, and if I had any little flyaways, I'd have to get closer. It would definitely mold them in a nice straight manner. So that's another good thing right there because when you're first growing your beard, you're going to get a lot of stray hairs. <sighs> All right. The next one is going to be beard butter. Now, this here is a, golly, let me turn this off, boy. All right, so beard butter. It's really good for deep conditioning your beard at night. Some people use it during the day. I personally like using it at night when I am going to use it. This will just help moisturize your beard throughout the night and keep your beard nice and soft for when you wake up in the morning. So if you plan on growing a beard, this is also a must. And some of these will fall off the longer your beard gets. The next thing is going to be, everything I mentioned here is going to pretty much be something that I would grab. Like if I, if I didn't have a beard right now, I would go straight to the store or straight online or straight to a link down below in the description or straight to somebody else's channel in their description. And I would get pretty much every one of these right now if I was just growing a beard. That's what I would do. I personally believe that you need every one of these as you're first starting to grow. The next thing is going to be a good beard wash. Don't just grab any shampoo or conditioner out of the bathroom, okay? So get yourself a good beard wash. You're gonna need it, okay? So this will help strip your beard. You know, you get a lot of stuff in your beard as you're going along, especially using all these other products. This will help strip them out along with some warm water. Some days you want, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna wash, I personally don't wash every day. I, I usually wash like once, sometimes twice a week, but it's usually 
ends up being around two or three times a whole month. Um, I may do it three times a month max, but that kind of helps strip everything out of your beard. In between, I kind of use just straight hot water just to rinse some of it out, all right? Um, that's in between using uh, just a wash. Don't overwash your beard. That's the next one. All right, now after that, it's gonna be a good beard conditioner, okay? So, get yourself a good beard conditioner. This is a luxurious bastard. Um, there's a lot of good beard conditioners out there. Like I said, you can watch my videos or somebody else's. There's a lot of good companies, a lot of good products, but these are the products that I would recommend for a beginner beard and just to help you get along because like I said, a lot of people get that itchy, dry, crazy, flyaways, cracked out hairs, depending on whether you got gray hairs or just scraggling out. And these tips right here will help you get through that because you get in panic mode sometimes when you're first growing a beard and you don't know whether to keep growing or just go ahead and shave it off, all right? So these will help you get through those phases right there. Pretty much the main killer for beards, okay? When you're dealing with stuff like that, like I said, the flyaways, the itching, some of these things will make you want to get rid of your beard. So all these simple things right here will help get through there. And these are basic tools to get you started. From there, I have a lot of other videos you can kind of watch and get a, a lot of other tips in there. And if not, you know, I'll make an, another episode of this right here for beginner beard tips, okay? Hope somebody can relate. If you guys watch this channel and you already have a big beard, or you've been growing your beard for a while, if you guys have any other tips, leave them down below for some of these beginner beard guys. I'd love to help out everybody I can, and I know you guys know a lot if you're watching. Some of you guys ain't beginners, so leave a comment down below on some of the things that you liked when as you were growing your beard. There's plenty of more guys. Like I said, I didn't name everything. The video would be extremely long if I just kept sitting here and naming everything I use. But this is just basic tips to get you through as a beginner, okay? So with that being said, guys, hope somebody can relate. See you guys in the next one.